Welcome to Art From Home with the Westmont Ridley True Museum of Art. I'm Tamara Vaughn, and today we are going to be doing origami. So let's talk a little bit about origami before we do some ourselves. The goal of origami is to transform a piece of paper into a finished sculpture by folding and not cutting, gluing, or marking the paper. Kirigami is origami that you can use scissors to cut into the paper. But today we'll just be doing origami. So what about the word origami? Where does this come from? It is composed of the Japanese word oru, which means to fold, and the word kami, which means paper. It's been practiced in Europe and in China and Japan, and they were mostly separate traditions until about 100 years ago. Paper was first invented in China around 105 AD and was brought to Japan by monks in the 6th century. Initially, paper was a very nice luxury item, so not a lot of people were able to have it themselves. This meant that paper folding in ancient Japan was strictly for ceremonial and often religious purposes. By the Edo period, paper was much more available and affordable for everyone. So paper folding in Japan became recreational as well, and it came to be regarded as a new form of art. People created origami sculptures, and they attached them to gifts, kind of like attaching greeting cards to gifts today. In Europe, there was also a lot of traditions of paper folding that date back to the 12th century or possibly even before. The Moors brought a tradition of mathematically based folding to Spain, and the Spanish people further developed the paper folding into an artistic practice. So modern origami often prioritizes more of a puzzle aspect to the folding and the challenge of folding a single square of paper without using cuts or glue. Origami paper weighs slightly less than copied paper, which makes it easier to fold some of the trickier sculptures. It is often referred to as kami, or Japanese for paper, and it's usually colored on one side and white on the other side. A lot of origami artists also use washi paper, which is generally tougher than ordinary paper. Washi is usually made from the bark of the gampi tree, or it can be made from bamboo, or hemp, or rice, or wheat. There are so many different things that you can make with origami. Here you can see there's an origami elephant, and a bird, and a mouse, and a box. That's a butterfly, and even a frog. Today, we're gonna to be making an origami crane, a tulip, and a boat. So what are the materials that you'll need for this? It's very simple today. You will just need some paper, um, preferably thinner paper. And you'll need scissors, but not to cut the origami. Cut your paper into a square. If you want to color your origami, you can grab some markers or some pens as well. So let's get started making some origami. We are first going to start with an origami boat. Now usually a lot of origami, you need square paper, but the origami boat, you just need a rectangle piece of paper. One thing that might help is if you make one side a little different than the other. So I'm going to make some marks on one side of my paper, and this will be side one, and then side two will be the plane. So the first thing you're going to want to do is fold the bottom up to meet the top. So you have just a smaller rectangle now. And then you'll fold your paper over, and you'll fold your, the right corner up to the line in the center, and do the same thing on the other side. Fold the left corner up to the line in the center. So now you have a point. And you'll want to put the point at the top and fold just one part of the bottom up to the top and flip it over and do the same. So now you have what almost looks like a little hat here. 
So fold that down and fold small triangles in on both sides. Now fold that back up. So now you still have the points, but on one side it's folded in, on the other side they're open. This should open at the bottom here, and you'll want to start opening it and tuck those flaps into the other side. And then open it all the way up. Now it's a diamond. Now from here, you're going to fold just the top section up to the top and turn it over and the other section at the bottom up to the top. Now again, you'll go from the bottom and open and flatten it out and you have a diamond. And now you're almost done. All you have to do is take the two sides and open them up and flatten everything out. And you've got the little point in the center there. Now you have yourself a boat. So now we're going to try an origami crane. As you can see, we have some here. Here's a blue one right here. So this one's a little bit trickier than the, than the boat, but it's a really fun one to do. But the first thing you'll need to do is cut your paper into a square. So it's very simple. You'll just want to take one corner and fold it to the left to the other side. There's going to be a little extra space here, and you'll just need to cut this off. And now you have a square. So we have already done the first fold because of this. And so you will fold it in half to make a triangle. And you'll open that back up and fold it the other direction diagonally. And open that up. Flip that over. And now you'll fold it up to make a rectangle and open that up and fold it over to make another rectangle. Open it up and now you have a big square with some creases making an X and some creases making a T. You'll need to fold this in to make a diamond. Now you have a diamond. Now there's one end of the diamond that is open and you want to keep the open end facing you and see there are two flaps on each side. We're just going to work with the top flaps at first. You fold those in to the center line and do that on the right and on the left. Once you've done that, you fold the top down over. Now unfold that. Open up the top and use those creases you made to make a long diamond. Now flip that over and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Fold in the right side, fold in the left side, and fold that triangle at the top down. And now unfold everything you just did and lift the piece from the bottom up and fold it in to make that long diamond. So you now have this long diamond and at the top it's all together and at the bottom you have these two legs. So you'll just need to fold in this top layer into the center on the right and on the left. Flip it over and do the same thing on the other side, on the right and on the left. All right, so this is what it should look like, again, with these little legs on the bottom. Open up just a little bit, each of the sides, and fold the bottom up. And do this on both sides.
And then you'll want to make the head on one of the sides. So you just fold the point down just to make a little head. And then you fold the wings down so they're out and ready to fly. And that is your crane. All right, so we are now going to make a tulip. As you can see here, this uses two pieces of paper. I used a green paper at the bottom and purple paper for the, the flower. And so you'll need a square piece of paper for both of these. And I've already shown you how to make your rectangle paper into squares. So let's get started. First, we're gonna do the tulip. You already have one fold that you've made the triangle. And now unfold that and do that again on the other side, that diagonal fold. And flip it over to the square and fold it up. And open it and fold it over. And now we're gonna push the sides in to make a triangle. And from here, you're going to fold top flap up to the center on the right and on the left. So now you have a diamond on one side and a triangle on the other side. Fold each side up, the right and the left. And now you're going to flip the flap over. There are three sections on one side. Now flip diamond over to the left and now you're going to flip the flap over. So now you have a diamond and there's no center opening. It's just a crease. And now you're going to flip the flap over and just a little past the crease. And now take the left flap and tuck it in to the right flap. And flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. You wanna fold the right side just a little past the crease and fold the left side in. And tuck it in. So now you should have this shape here and there should be a triangle at the bottom be a little hole and what you're going to do is you're going to inflate through that hole to make your flower. So now that it is inflated you want to fold each of the sides down to make your petals. And now you have your tulip. Now we need to make the stem for your tulip. And we'll start with this square piece of paper and you'll want to hold it as a diamond and put it down and fold the top right side into the crease and fold the top left side into the crease. Fold the bottom right up into the crease and fold the bottom left up into the crease. And you'll just fold the bottom in one more time and fold the bottom left up into the crease and fold the bottom up to the top, just fold it right in half. So right now it should look like this. Now you'll just want to fold it all the way in half here, like this. Fold the leaf part of the stem over. And now you have this point at the top that you can put your tulip through that hole in the bottom. So now you have a tulip. Well, I hope you had fun making some origami today. I know that I had some fun showing it to you. I would love to see some of your creations, so be sure to post some photos and tag us in it. Uh, the hashtag and our email will be at the end here. We look forward to our next Art From Home with the Westmont Ridley Tree Museum of Art.